Hey y'all, thanks for stopping in. Appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule to stop in and see what it is I'm up to. The other day, a longtime internet friend, um, uh, we go we go back years and years online, asked on Facebook. She asked what what blade people would recommend for her while she's waiting on her uh, carry permit. I answered on on Facebook again with the basic knives that I carry. And the ones that I generally carry every day are this Mossy Oak. I got this one on Amazon, uh, I don't know, two months ago, three months ago, something like that. Um, but I've been carrying this pretty regular. I've got it on a drop down that goes on my suspenders. Um, this is it. It's just, it's a nice size blade. I like blades that are about this, like between five and six inches. It's got a small handle, but it fits the hand nicely. It, uh, yeah, it just, it feels good. It holds a decent edge and I abuse it. And, you know, that's why I don't won't buy a, an expensive knife, but that's a knife that, you know, would fit a woman's hand. And depending on what you're looking to use it for and where you're going to carry it. Again, this is, I actually put it in the sheath backwards to make it carry, to make it hook down properly. Um, depends on why you're carrying it too. Is it just for self-defense? This probably wouldn't be the one you want to go for. Only because it's a little difficult to, to get to. Um. Unless you carry it, like, carry it open, you know, without, without the snap on it. Uh, it's still a little tight in the sheath. But it's a, it's a decent all-around knife. And I guess if you were carrying it in your purse and you didn't have the clip on it, you could pull it out and flip it off and the, the sheath will go flying. So there is that. Um. I'm actually thinking, because I was, I was going through and looking at all my different knives, I think I'm going to go ahead and put, see if I can get my my uh, case knife to hang off the dangler. Again, this I've had this one for years. And this, this is another, you know, it's close to the same size blade. Um, again, depending on... You know what you what you're looking to do with it. You know, do you have do you have actual um, self defense skills for for blade work? Uh, you know, if if not, take a class. Um, but yeah, so those those two are, are sheath knives. Usually they go on a belt. Or like I said, I'm I'm working on a. You know, I like this one hangs off of my suspenders, and it's like right down there easy to access um, this is another this is a smaller one this is from also off of Amazon under under $15 I'm pretty sure Elk Ridge it's, it's a pretty knife um, come on there it is It's short. It would, you know, it, it does what it needs to do. Uh, and if you were trying to defend yourself, that would put a hurt on someone. It's got a, it's got a nice edge. So again, if you've got the, the right skills and you know how to use a blade, that one would come in handy. And, you know, depending on, again, where you carry it and how you carry it, this would go nice on a, you know, in a purse or something. It's, a, it's it's rather small, so it's a little finicky to get to snap back on. I do have a lanyard on it because the because it is small. I can I can hold on to it a little better, um, but like I said, this I I carry this one in my pocket quite often.
and again it's a it's a it's another knife that uh, you know, it, it's a straight, it's a straight knife. It's, you don't, you don't have to open it, open it. Um, let's see. One of my favorite knives and one that I carry almost every day is this gentleman's folder. This is another one that would, I think would fit a, a woman's hand rather nicely. It fits, it fits my hand. I don't have super big hands. Uh, but I think a woman's hand would, would be able to handle this with no problem. It's a flipper. It's a rather nice knife. I like the look of it. And it was the main reason why I bought that knife was because I thought they kind of went together. But again, this is one of those you have to be you have to be comfortable with your knife. You have to sit and just play with it. it it's a you know, it's a fiddle toy. So you sit and play with it and get comfortable with your knife. And you know how how do you how do you use it and keep it sharp and you know so there's that again what are you looking for this is a this is an all-around multi-purpose knife I had a my nephew said something about carrying a four hundred dollar pocket knife I could I couldn't do that I can't carry I can't carry a forty dollar knife for the most part because I abused the knives. I, this one was under twenty dollars. I think it's under fifteen. I would have no hesitation to open a can of paint with this, or baton my way through a a uh, battery cable, or you know whatever. If it breaks, I get a new one. There, it's not a major. You know, it's not a major purchase. And I've been. I've had this probably well at least two years probably longer so there's that one this one is also rather inexpensive I'm not sure Shepherd Sheffield Sheffield I got I actually got this one on the discount rack at the auto parts store it is not a flipper it's just a folder but it does have the button to help you know it's, it's an assist so this is this is like this one isn't legal in some states it's, it's spring assisted so you know some states it's not totally legal to carry this one as far as i know is now tam lives in texas and i don't think they have a regulation on on knives but you know again if you practice with it you know you get good with it um, it opens rather quickly, and again, this is a an inexpensive but a good knife. It's put up with a lot of abuse for me from me. It does have a belt clip, but that means you can clip it onto your purse or into a pocket. That's where I actually like to carry it, um, or inside of a pocket of your bag. I carry. I've got a couple of other knives, you know. If you've been around my channel at all, you know most of my bags have uh, at least one knife, sometimes two. I always have two, three, sometimes five knives on me, <laughs> just depending. Um, getting down into the smaller knives, this SOG, uh, I believe this is the card. I got this on clearance at... Uh, Academy, I believe, may have been Walmart. I think it was Academy. Again, it's one of those ones that you know you have to play with to get comfortable to, to get it to open. But it's it's very small. You don't really you won't really see that in a pocket. It almost acts as a money clip. Um, if if that's what you if that's what you prefer, so it's unobtrusive. People don't don't look at that right off and see you know that it's a knife so especially if it's you know if it's on your billfold or wrapped around a bunch of bills but again for a woman's hand it's nice and small it's lightweight uh i would say it would disappear into a purse but that might be that might not be a good thing so again that would be a decent blade i think for a woman to carry i want i want some of y'all out there uh, women, if, if you're carrying um, 
If you're carrying a blade, let me know what you carry. I know my daughters and my daughter-in-law carry folders. And I just got my granddaughter her first uh, flipper. So, uh, anyway, another knife that's nice to carry, uh, not legal everywhere. This is a, an actual stiletto. This knife I would not use for batoning. I wouldn't use, you know, I wouldn't use it for, you know, trying to op crack open a window, car window. Um, this really only has one purpose. And, uh, yeah. So, again, this is one of those things that you have to, you have to play with it. This has a lock on it. Right there. So if you push the button, it doesn't open. So you have to be aware of how you're carrying it. Sometimes if you're carrying it and you don't have it locked, it can open in your pocket. And that can be a surprise. <laughs> so, but again, if this is be if you're carrying this in your pocketbook, you know, a lot of pocketbooks have little little uh, uh, flashlight or, or pen holders right inside the right inside the purse. This would this would go right into one of those pen holders, and you know you pull it when you need it. So doesn't really spread butter very well. It will cut a steak. Uh, the last one I have out, I carry. I've been carrying this one again, probably probably two to three months. I'd have to go back in and see when I actually. Uh, ordered this. It's off of Amazon. It's only a couple of dollars uh, under 10 bucks. I added the cord to it. I've also done a video on this where I added there's a, a lighter and a flashlight and a pen. I think when I did the video I had a pencil but I'm not sure. Uh, and I've actually just recently gone in and hot glued that into place and put a little bit of hot glue down here on the, the bottom of the the uh, lighter just to keep them from moving around hot glue is easy to break free if you actually need something uh, these are just they're you know in case of emergency and this one usually I wear it like that so it goes under my shirt and it disappears I would tend to say that only has one purpose, but it's it doesn't. I was actually I actually used it today to trim some vines um, because it was all I had on me. I had gone down to the the new house and I had on sweatpants and a t-shirt and no place to put another knife. So this was the only one that I actually had on me, and it performed rather well. Considering, you know, I was cutting, I was cutting rather thick vines with it. So, and it pretty well held its edge. It didn't, it didn't chip. It's, but this is so lightweight. Again, you know, it, it's going to help drive off an attacker. So, and again, though, if you don't have basic knife skills, get them. First off, but you know, a, a knife can be more dangerous to you than your attacker if you don't have the proper skills. One of the other things I'd like to mention that I also carry would be a stick, whether it be a cane. This is a mod. This is a uh, billiards cue, not a pool cue. A billiards cue for a short, it's a short cue, um, wrapped in paracord got a, a copper cap on the one end and a proper foot on the other. Um, again, if you know your basic your basic moves um, and, and any martial art uh, dojo or you know uh, academy, whatever they're calling themselves, uh, 
will usually have a la carte type classes where you can go in and just learn uh, basic stick and cane uh, self-defense moves. You can put a real hurt on someone if you know what you're doing with something like this. So, uh, I guess that's about where, about all I'm going, yeah, yeah. I guess that's all I've got for right now. Um, again, like I said, let me know, ladies, if you're watching, what knives do you carry? If you carry. Uh, I'm not asking about your Second Amendment. Just uh, just knives. So, um, if you have some input and want to let, you know, want to forward it to Tam out there in Texas, then uh, I would greatly appreciate that. So, yeah. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs down or a thumbs up. Leave me a comment wherever it is y'all leave comments on your internet access device of choice. If you'd like to share me or like to check me out on social media, I'll have links in the description box along with links to uh, other related videos. I'll also put links to some of these knives that I got off of Amazon. Um, some of the other ones I got, like I said, at Academy, uh, parts store. Uh, this one I've had for ages. I have no idea where I got that. This one came from a truck stop in uh, Ohio, I think. Um, but yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, you'll, you'll find my snail mail in case you want to send me something really interesting. But in the meantime, if your loved ones are nearby, give them a kiss and a hug. If they're not, give them a call. Hit them up on Facebook. Let them know you think about them. Let them know you love them. We ain't promised tomorrow, people. We ain't promised our next breath. So I see y'all again. I hope you have a fandoculous day. Slaunchy, y'all. Ugh.